to believe our recording. Oh, good evening. This is Sister Mary Frances O'Flanagan, patting the dog noise from the other side of the door. But one of the critters that live in the convent is being exceptionally a pain in the arse right about now. You're not coming in. I have one dog here. Say hello to the people. Say hello. See you, good doggy. Don't you have to move down here. I went to a Christmas party. All the sisters got together. Mother Superior was there. I was on my best behaviour. I didn't smoke any cigars. Oh, I may have had a nip with a little bit of Irish whiskey, but one nip didn't. Well, I must have had a little bit more than I thought. What the hell? How did that get on? Give me a moment, please. Ah! Ah! I don't know how I caught on my glasses. And I have some... I opened some gifts tonight. <coughs> Look what I got. Oh, it's a book. Oh, somewhere for recovering alcoholics. I might read it for pure entertainment, but they think I'm going to get off the Irish whiskey. This this girl from Dublin, Ireland might... Ah, oh, there might be a little bit of challenge. However, though, I went to like you say. Excuse me. The dog is sitting on top of me on my bed. Move down there, please. Thank you. I found me rosary beads. And you know what? I promised me, Mum, a couple of weeks back, I've got a plan for all of this. And if you don't mind, holding on for a moment. You know, the last time I made this video, I must have had it propped against something. Oh, hold on just a moment, please. I shall return. Oh, do you like my, my, uh, well, I, doesn't it look better? Yeah, I look like more like a nun today. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, so I can't find the original rosaries. And, you know, look at, oh, darn. You can see where I kind of screwed up, but it looks more like a real nun habit now, you see. However. Regardless, that's my word, you know, regardless. I have a plan for these rosary beads so I can say my prayers to my mother tonight. Mum? Oh, you know, I suppose you're wondering, all of you out there in the audience, why don't you just ask Mother Superior for another set of rosary beads? I'll be the biggest screw-up ever known. None ever known in this convent has lost a pair of rosary beads. So guess what? I can't look foolish. So here's my plan. Look, Mum, that's all it takes is a pair of scissors. I didn't really think of that before. Too much Irish whiskey, perhaps. Look, my new rose, that's still too long. I'll tell you what. But surely I can manage seeing a plan on each one of these rosary beads. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I tell you what, Mum. I'll pray for you anyway, regardless of the rosary beads. Here's my new rosary bead. One, two, three, four. I can say five little prayers, surely. You're really worth at least five, Mother. Um, I'll keep these around just in case I lose these little buggers. So anyway, I had fun at the party. It's time to go. I have a little bit more... Do I have any more whiskey or did I drink it all? The mystery shall be answered. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of another fable, Irish fable. By Sister Maria Flanagan. Good evening and good night. <laughs>